Okay. Stream up after like nine, no, ten days. Yeah, ten days. Now I've gotta get, gotta get prepared for the clear sky music. Okay, here goes. Well, same intro as last time with uh, Shadow of Chernobyl. Ah, Deep Silver. ATI Radeon Premium Graphics. I actually have and uh, an older ATI card. Oh, there's that familiar tune. <laughs> it's the same for this game. Okay. Uh, well. Um, I, I already did open this actually though. Like I, I actually like set this all up, master difficulty. Cause I imagine that it's not going to be um, different from Shadow of Chernobyl, at least not like, you know. Like, I don't think the difficulty is going to significantly change in this game, so... Uh, I will see, I guess. Because I... I have made sure all the settings and stuff were set up, but I did not, like, do anything yet. So I literally have no idea what this game is like. Compared to Shadow of Chernobyl. I, like, I I did see... Maybe... 15 to 20 seconds of a stream. But I didn't want to, like... Uh, I didn't want to see anything of the story. So, yeah, I... Uh, like, I kind of saw what the inventory system looks like. And it does look different, but... I don't know how it- how actually different it may be. If at all, it might just be like, you know, different UI look, but... Anyway. Um, I guess I'll... I guess I'll start. Oh, okay, you can already choose... Like, what difficulty to play on. Like, Master might be spicy, question mark. Like, I don't know... I'm guessing there's different guns and stuff in this game. Maybe. I mean, there's like a minigun in... Well, RPG was in the last one, but like, there's a minigun on the floor here. I don't know if that's actually going to be a real weapon or not, but... I don't know. Okay, Master, difficulty. Oh, well, let me make sure... Yeah... YouTube always, like, struggles. But maybe, um... Let me see how far YouTube is behind before I actually, like, continue. That's, like, a few seconds behind. Maybe I should have put it on, um, what do you call it? Ultra low latency. Can I do that? No, I can't. I already started. I can't do it anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. And it's like it's like Twitch kind of. It's not too far behind, but it is far enough behind to be noticeable. So, yeah. Okay. Master difficulty. Creating new game. We have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. 
Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is 2.13. Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. Look, it's breaking up. Back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? My head's splitting and spinning too, basically. I'm in real good shape. Do you remember what happened to you? Okay, I remember leading an expedition through the swamps, bunch of scientists. Then the emissions, that's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? Then why does it look so much like the zone? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Oh, I guess I got lucky then. Lucky? Hmm, I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-dogs, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing, so let's continue this conversation later. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> the loot. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Talk to barman. Okay, yeah, this is... This is different. Uh, oh, this tells you. Radioactive contamination. Fire protection? Acid protection? Radiation protection? Oh, this is like... Psi protection? Armor condition? Oh, because this counts as armor? Oh yeah, leather jacket, okay. Stamina? Alright. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna change some options. I didn't set up the controls. Crouch, always crouch. Here we go. C. Uh, lean left to right, low crouch, shift. 
yeah, okay. C. Wait, what? I made C always crouch, what the heck? It's not working. Oh, did I not save it? I don't think I saved it. Yeah, I didn't hit use, that's why. There we go. Use. There we go. Now my controls are set up. And X is still run, so. At least I have that down. Okay, don't want to take fall damage right away. Welcome back from the afterworld. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of God. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I'm just dying of curiosity. You're dying of curiosity. There's not much to tell. I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when an emission hit. I remember nothing after that. I regained my consciousness here. So now you tell me what happened. Well then, who drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. How did you end up here? I was collecting bottles one after another and they led me here. <laughs> I'm kidding man. The uh, truth is, there was no place for me in the world. They didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are alright, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. Cold. I'm about this place, would you give me a clue as to where we are? In our base. As you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. The guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back, or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. I'm no stranger to the zone, yet yeah, I've never heard about Clear Sky. How do things work here? You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev, Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than, well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Cool. He knows what stuff is going to be. Leave the mark alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Liberde says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. Stop by for a chat anytime. This place is so boring. Okay. Options. Is there like... Okay, so I'm running the game, as you can see. Or maybe, maybe you can't see, I don't know. Because I don't know how bad or good this looks, but... I'm running this game in 4K right now. So everything is like smaller on the screen. Uh, and I don't think... Let me check, is there even a way? Like, I don't think this game has UI options at all, so... For the purpose of... Like, stream... Maybe... Maybe I switch this to, uh... 1080? Let's see. What is this gonna do? 
Oh right, it's gonna mess up everything else. Because... Ah! Yeah. Because it changes the physical resolution of, like, everything. Too, so... Uh... F11, F11, there we go, OBS is set. And now... Why? What the heck is... is a window capture? No. Game capture. There we go. Transform. Fit the screen. There we go. So for the purpose of... Stream. Put this in like, 1080. Now what's gonna happen when I open it? It's gonna mess everything up again. This is not a... This is working, but I don't want my, like, stream stuff to be on the far, like, the farthest monitor. So there. Does that let me do? No. Okay, so then I have to, I think I have to leave it not in uh, full screen. Can I go back to this? Does F11? No. F11 does not change it. So then if I do this... Yeah, this is gonna be fun, trying to figure out how to do this. So use... Switch... Move this... F11... And I guess I'll have to use borderless gaming because there's like no other workaround. Yep. There we go. Yep. And I can move my mouse all the way down. Good. Look who we got visiting okay, yeah, folks. that's fine. You sure are a whip of fresh air. Sleeping on the job, huh? Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. Why are you hiding? As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. What was so peculiar about it? We've had emissions before. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now... You can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, 
The strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. If I knew how I survived, I'd tell you in a second, but I don't remember anything. I see. How can I help you? I'd better leave. I'm pretty beat up, but I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. What are you trying to say? We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro at that sort of thing. This is the second outpost. Your experience can save we're the lives of Help. many of my... That's enough, chit -chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? I remember bits and pieces. Great. Get over to the trader, and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Okay. It's like cutting itself off. Well, the character dialogue is anyway. I don't know why it's doing that. Video. Advanced. If I do that. Trader. Oh no. A fighter is on his way to you. Issue. Yeah, it does not like this at all. Oh, there we go him with all the equipment he'll need for the mission. Roger that. Hurry, Merc. Doing it. Don't worry. Visitor? I'll be right there. At last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. Thanks. Hey, is it always this stressful here? I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. Yeah, I'm gone. Head to the outpost with the guide. Okay. So, are you ready to go to the outpost? I'm ready. Alrighty, I'll blindfold you until we get there, you understand? I'm sure we must... I'm sure we must keep the route secret. Right. Oh, here we go. Merc, there are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. Okay. Well, I can see him. There's more animation this time around. Oh, by the way, you can sometimes find artifacts in anomalies. You can see them, but detectors spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. down rest in peace friend 
take this stuff. Ow. Okay. I'm dying. What? Uh, 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 should I not pick up the stuff? Did I put it? Oh, I put this stuff in their inventory. Missing whatever is happening because I put the stuff in their inventory, not mine. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Whoa. Okay. Task cancelled. Return to the clear sky base. Oh. Did I get knocked out again? Ask Lebedev about what happened. I think I got knocked out again. I'm still literally like dying. Wait, no, I was supposed to go down here. I can't run in the water. I guess it's like quicksand. Like they were talking about. Um, hello? You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point where our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Wait, wait. Don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. Why do emis emissions occur this often? A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune I think system. I'm literally dying. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks game. That was pretty cool. Uh Cool. Not even like contaminated. Why did I die? Wait, what happened? Oh, this is even before that part. Oh no. Here we go. At least I can save whenever I want to. Still, but like. Uh. Now I have to do this whole thing over again. Yes, I have to go talk to you. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you Okay, were... yep, 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 yep. Cold. Leave the Mark alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, okay. Here we go again. I have to do this whole sequence. Don't go this way. Here we go. Got some fresh air as I know. Nice. Get me your Okay. This is the second outpost. We're under attack. Yep. I repeat, we're under attack. Help! Yep, That's enough I get it. That's great. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Go get the gear and go do this again. This time I won't put the loot to the enemy. Or not enemy, but loot to the person who's dead on the ground. I've been Okay. Now I'm good to go. Equip this first. ready okay here we go again the second time Mark, there are anomalies ahead be careful remember don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you I understand oh, how they way, work don't worry you can sometimes find artifacts in anomalies you can not see them but detectors spot them easily enough if you get close enough your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly...
exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. Alright. Bleeding? Yeah, bleeding. I'm still bleeding. Oh, they changed the shotgun noise. No, 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 no. There we go. No, 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 I'm still bleeding. Run for the tower. The monsters can't get you there. Yes, they can. I'm going in here. Give me the ammo, please. Thank you. They also can't get me in here, apparently. Oh. Saw that. Oh. Here we go. Collect my reward. Any mission is approaching. Get to cover now. I'm in cover. I'm still bleeding though. <laughs> I'm literally still bleeding, I think. Make sure to check my inventory this time around. Because I was literally dying in the, the thing before. Okay, I'm fine. I'm re I'm regening. I'm not losing health like last time. And this time I only used one med kit, not both. Hello friend. You survived the emission again. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge. Now I can listen to this again. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that the recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. One got past the scorcher, what risk does that pose as for the zone? It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish crater. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the brain scorcher. Is there a real way to pass the Scorcher? Even a theoretical chance? I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the Scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. What is the danger of such frequent emissions? I know a lot about this zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. This zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, this zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. Prevent the disaster, you're not even strong enough to fight off bandits. You're right. But we do know how to prevent the disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. Lots of confidence you got there, so what's the plan? 
We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. And why are you telling me this of all people? There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will, they mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. Hmm. Not sure I want to jump right into the thick of things. Why do I have to take part in this? I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a corny movie, but you really don't have a choice. Looks like my options are pretty limited. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Yeah, why not? Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. That'll be fine. How do I reach the Kordon? Through these swamps, of course. How else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Understood. Okay. Uh... Oh no. Okay, P. That's how I look at this now. These are just overlapping each other. Nice. Collect your reward. Flash drive with data on super light Kevlar body armor. And 12 by 7 6 slow grounds. Wait a minute. Reaching the Great Swamps is easy. Our guides will lead you out. But if you want to actually survive there, you need to learn about the current tactical situation in your PDA's new features. So if you're curious about any of that, just ask. Uh... What can you offer me? The contents of this backpack whose coordinates I'm uploading to your PDA are more worth than... More than the... Than worth the cash you're depositing into my pockets. How much is going... How much is that going to set me back? 900. So what's actually in there? No idea. No, I'm not interested. Up to you, what must be done to gain control over the swamps. Reduce the enemy's numbers or put it simply shoot down as many poss as possible of those who are shooting at us. If we don't, our fighters will have no chance of securing the swamps. What are you doing here? Trying to get some rest, assembling pieces of information the guys bring me. Consulting our valiant leader, you see, we we guides are clear skies, eyes, and ears at the swamps. Uh, what's the tactical situation like? In a word, shit. In two, deep shit. Our fighters can hardly hold the gray swamps. They're being constantly pushed back by bandits and monsters. The enemy simply outnumbers us. Tell me about my PDA's new features. Oh, here we go. Your main guide is the objective section. Uh, okay. Your main objective is displayed here. Together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Most objectives are also displayed on the map with the exception of rare occasions when your objectives cannot be located. We will need your help with not only destroying the enemy but also capturing key positions. In these situations, our fighters will be grateful if you provide covering fire as they capture a position. By the way, don't ignore calls for help. Our boys' lives could be at stake. Okay. Hovering over a mark on the map will display additional information. In addition to your objectives, 
Friendly units and identified enemies will also be displayed on the map. Okay, as I'm sure you understand, our main objective is to establish control over the swamps. And that means a war against the aggressor. This section allows you to access tactical information about combat operations at any time. Information about your current faction is displayed on the left. Right now, that's us. Clear sky. Information about the main enemy is displayed on the right. This shows our approximate combat strength. This shows how many fighters we have. And this is our equipment supply. Similar indicators are also shown for our enemy. Finally, this field allows you to see the current strategic mission as well as tactical objectives that must be achieved in order to complete the strategic mission. Completed strategic missions will be displayed at the bottom. The last tab allows you to view your current relations with all factions as well as each faction's combat strength. Your personal stats are also displayed here. That's pretty much it. Okay. Okay, see ya. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta go collect my reward first. Or well, I I'm gonna do that first. Is it there? Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? A prized exotic wonders? Neither, unfortunately. I got hit by an emission and barely survived. Totally empty now. The emission seemed to have scattered all my goodies all over the swamps. Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, as so long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? Yeah, yeah, even at the swamps in a hush-hush joint like this one, there's a place for a trader. What do you know? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life, or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere. Even in the zone, even in the swamps, and even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key, and the army has all the ways in and out sealed. And think about it. Nowadays, artifacts and rare specimens from the zone can be found all over the world. And your fellow stalkers never have a shortage of canned meat, vodka, ammo, or equipment. Somebody's got to be responsible for all that, right? <laughs> well, that's where we come in. In this place, it ain't like selling bootleg CDs on the outside with the cops up your ass every damn day. Around here, the situation is very simple. The outside world has an interest in the zone and vice versa. But it's officially forbidden, prohibited, and all that bullshit. That's what we're here for. We make sure all those interests are satisfied and everybody's happy. There's a joke among traders that if someone points a gun at you, your best bet is to try to buy it off them. I see, except it seems to me that your business isn't doing too well. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. There's a ton of ordinary artifacts out there, but the best tidbits pass this place by. I haven't had a unique item in my store for ages. Why the limited selection? Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last you a lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there and then. It's about time us traders joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. You aren't the only ones looking in that direction. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, I've told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. You got something for me? Yeah, you helped us out good, buddy. Here's your reward. Oh, okay. Trade. Good luck to you. Ooh. Oh, I lost my... I lost my shotgun. Oh, no, wait, no, I didn't. Here it is. So, like, if I trade you this... This is... Okay, this... This is, like... This is what I'm trading. Yeah, this... This... 
This is a little bit confusing to me, but okay. Multi-layer Kevlar body armor material. Okay. So this, I'm guessing that's like a crafting thing. Like I can I can make it later or something. Uh. Okay, well, I don't really have money to buy, like, anything. So, yeah. Goodbye. I can't even pull out my gun here, apparently. Good there, pals. Опустили его еще раз. Достали, спрашивают. Артефакты, бабло есть? Нету. Опять окунули okay, и опять спрашивают. Them. Артефакты, бабло есть? Но тот не выдержал. Ланка Терминатор. Пускайте глубже или держите дольше. Дно мутное, ни хрена не видно. А по новее ничего нету. What's your problem? We're just sitting here, taking a little break. It's nice and quiet, no one around. What are you doing here? This is our job. The emission sure kept us busy. Truth be told, we really aren't fighters, but in times like these, if you want to survive, you better know how to handle a gun. I have a feeling that mine will soon see plenty of action. Tell me about this place. What the is that? This place is wet, cold, miserable, and stinky as hell. <laughs> what else do you want to know about it? Want to hear about getting pulled down to the bottom of the swamp by some beast? Or about sinking into quicksand in a minute flat? What's new in the zone? More and more missions are happening. I've never seen anything like this. The zone is shaking up, changing everything around us. Familiar pathways are being drowned in deathly anomalies. And new, formerly closed territories are opening up. The swamps are also becoming more accessible. I bet all the factions will start soon start a ruckus over these lands. Any news? News you say? Well, we're working our butts over here. Hopefully we'll soon be able to walk the zone like normal people and not freak out from anomalies at every step. Any news? Okay, same thing. Okay, see ya. Sick tunes. There, you're pushing me away from the music. I wanted to hear the sick tunes. Oh, it's over. Hi, pal. What do you want? So, want me to lead you to the Great Swamps? Yes. You know the rules. You'll go blindfolded. Just don't let go of my shoulder and you'll be fine. Okay. We're in, so you can take your blindfold off. Don't you try to follow me, it won't work anyway. If you want to come back to the base, find one of the guys at the fishing hamlet. Okay. Here we go. Mark! Looks like you're at the Great Swamp. Sliding. Zone. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out we your PDA. You should hey, find the location hey. of our squads there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. Coming, don't worry. We can't hold on much longer. Hurry, help us. This way. Whoa. Get him. That's it. Now we'll teach them a lesson. Okay, why? Is there no iron sights in this? Ah. Leading again. Sometime we'll find a way to pay you back. That's a promise. Sit tight where you are. There, now I'm not bleeding anymore. Options game dynamic crosshair. So, weapon 
Is there not? I, I guess there isn't. Uh, ammo type, zoom, fire. There's really, there really is an aim down sight? That's, that, okay, that's, that feels odd to me, because, like, the Shadow of Chernobyl had aiming down sight? Why does this not have aim down sight? Unless it's master difficulty not letting me, uh, aim down sight. Oh no, please. Oh, okay. Oh. That's it! Shoot. Okay, options. Dynamic crosshair. Use. Back out. When will it stop? Boy, am I Every time I pause and unpause, like, from the menu, it just breaks the game. There we go. I supposed to follow you? Oh. Okay. I thought that was an enemy. Stay down and wait. Okay. I think we got them all. Sit tight where you are. Okay. Okay. Now I can go. Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be following you or if I can just go, but I'm gonna just try to go. Save. Yeah, let- let me just... In the swamps. I have not done it. Save. We'll have to fight out in the open! <laughs> I'm glad I saved. Literally... Two shots dead. Okay, so can I? N oh, I missed. It's not explosive. He's just dancing up there. You want to stop that? These not explode. Okay, no, they do. Look at him run. Okay, good. Reloading early doesn't just drop a mag. I, I was partially expecting it to. They see us! I repeat, they see us! They see us? They do. Eight shots. Die. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I think Master is going to be harder than uh, than Shadow of Chernobyl, <laughs> just slightly. Oh, you actually? I actually have ammo for this. Oh, I can aim with this, but I can't aim with the pistol. Why not? Damn, they spotted us. Got some sick combat music. There's more of them, right? I only shot three. Catch a grenade! Can I not be shot once in this game? Oh boy. Okay. Heal first. Oh, and healing takes time, actually. This is gonna be... yeah, this is gonna be... a lot harder, I guess. In this game, I don't... I don't have the suppressed pistol, like... like I could get early on in Chernobyl. like using all this okay please stop pushing me towards them thank you 
I'm gonna run out of ammo. We'll smoke him out with this. They're pushing me again. Please stop. You're gonna get my special grenade treatment. Whoa! I guess you actually have to fight with your faction then. You can't just go in yourself. Not like Chernobyl where you just like... You just run in and kill everything. I mean, at least if you have good enough armor and stuff. Okay, please. Let me up. The water is preventing me from jumping. right here. What do you mean? Where's my weight limit? Right here, okay. I remember it's on the left side now. Oh yeah, my reward is right here. Getting all this stuff. going on. Oh wait, there we go. Energy drink. I didn't use them before, but... I feel like this game is, like, a lot more simplified in the sense that you can't even, like, unload guns and stuff. I guess the animations and stuff are nice. What's going on over there? What's up with you? We're sitting around, keeping guard over the camp and all, with all kinds of enemies close by, so you just bugger off with your questions. Hey, tell me about this place. Until recently, this used to be a quiet place. It was just us, the swamps, boars, and flesh. Now it's getting crowded. And it's the wrong kind of crowd if you ask me. Good people have no business here. Now, now, don't take offense. You're an exception. Uh... What are you doing here? I'm just idling around, but not for long. Clear Sky always has plenty of work to do. Now more so than ever. What's new in the zone? Lots is new. The emission, for one. It changed more than just the zone. All of us have changed. There's more anger in us, or something. One moment you're friends with a man, and the next thing you know, he's pointing a gun at your head. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. You better ask Lebedev. Okay. What's new? Okay, it's the same thing. See you later. That's the last person I asked the second time. Hi, friends. Have a good fight? Oh, okay. So, like, what am I... I can see the arrow faintly on the map. So I'm supposed to go back, I guess? Take the ammo. Considering this doesn't actually have, like, an aim down sights. For whatever reason. Oh. Where are you little shit 
hiding. Looks all quiet to me. It looks all quiet to me. Yeah, sure it does. We're getting slaughtered here. Already? We just cleared it. <laughs> they came back. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Man, that was Damn you! Where the are you? I'm coming. Don't worry. Oh, they're coming from the other direction now. This time. Attack! We'll smoke him out with this. Nice of you to kill you. They ain't gonna get a warm welcome now. Reload. Reload. There's a scroll bar on the side of the screen because so many things just happened at one time. I think we got them all. We barely have them so, all. what is it that you need? What do you want anyway? <laughs> What's your problem? We're just sitting here taking a little break. It's nice and quiet, no one around. Tell me about this place. Yep, you're asking the right person. No one knows the swamp's like clear sky. We've been here since, heh, who knows. It's hard to keep track of time in a place like this. Down here, the flow of time is just as dreary as and gloomy as the scenery. Pretty soon you'll lose count of days. Anyway, if you want to get out of here, you have to find a guide from among the clear sky people. Giving you directions would be utterly useless. Uh, what are you doing here? Right now, nothing at all, but I have lots of responsibilities. We are scientists, technicians, and soldiers all in one. Today we fight, tomorrow we go on a science expedition. That's what it's like. It's new in the zone. They say the emission has made waste to many different places, not just the swamps. The usual stalker habitats have turned into anomaly mazes, and the places no one could go before are now open for exploration and looting. Okay, see ya. What is happening? Oh, jeez! Um, rest in peace? It's like a monster out there. I can see the distant shooting as well. Give me this ammo, please. Before I get shot in the head or something. Or shot anywhere, because I'll bleed out. Ah, vodka. What am I supposed to... I guess I'm supposed to go this way. This music's sick. No, I'm not fighting anyone or anything yet, so... Save game! <laughs> Yeah, just save. Yes, okay. Before I get killed. <laughs> Go this way. I'm running out of stamina. this intense music. There's nothing going on, I'm just walking through the swamp. Okay, there we go. Oh, I have to actually stop. Wait for it to come back. Uh, there we go. Now I can run some more. Though running doesn't feel like that much faster, honestly. Okay. Oh, there's a bridge over that way. So I'm guessing I 
take this bridge back over to that bridge. Put the gun away. I don't know if that actually makes me run faster, but... Whoa! Is that all at it? I'm not ready for this. I feel like I'm not anyway. So many enemies here. Capture the farm. Alone? What? Uh, is this my only mission now? <laughs> like, I have to do this? Look at all these enemies. Like everywhere. What ammo do I have for this? 81 reserve. So then that's yeah, 51 actually. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. bullets how many bullets how many bullets how many bullets is it gonna take how many bullets oh, there we go oh I got him they actually have like a like unique dying animation instead of just flying backwards I guess this is what the intense music's for when I actually get here. But like, it was just playing in the swamp while I was just walking. Oh, hey. Am I shooting? I think I'm shooting through the fence. Okay. Running out of ammo. Dude. Now that gun, I can't actually aim, for whatever reason. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Before I kill any of them, I think. I will. I've killed. Oh, I've already killed like three, but or four. But I mean, like, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna make it through this. I feel like. This gun does not help being as inaccurate as it is. If I was already concerned about ammo, then this that's not gonna help. Eight. Okay, I'm down to eight. Killed like what? Uh. I think five I've killed. If I, uh, I think it said thirteen things, like thirteen people. Okay, running low. Okay, I got them. Yeah, I'm really gonna need to pick up all the ammo they have. Ooh. Do the same thing. I'll try, at least. I don't want to go in, but... Am I hitting an invisible wall or something? What's happening? Hitting the bush. That's three hits on them, I think. Okay. I 
I feel like that's not actually working. Okay. What is in this right now? The slugs. I think so. Music calm down. Did they forget I was here or something? Yeah, I think they are not aggroed. Unless they are. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Hey, <laughs> yeah, they know. At least they do now. Jeez. Does not have like a aiming post or anything. Ow, 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 ow. Just stop my bleeding. I can't even take a shot now. <laughs> Save game. What is my objective? Capturing farm before I die. Because I feel like I'm going to. goes again. Guess I'm just gonna have to use all my pistol ammo. As three bullets. Forty-seven bullets. Is this like Shadow of Chernobyl? Do they change location when I reload? I don't know how you saw me, but you did, so... This gun. Police. They all are! I guess I'm gonna have to move up. I hope. I don't get shot. Doesn't have like a meter anymore of like sound or anything. Guess that's all the way that all the way on the right. I guess you just have to guess when they know. Okay. Being so, so careful. Where did they go? Are they all in this building? I have to kill them before they go. Come 
там все! Ау. <laughs> okay. Like the music calms down and then and then they're right there. It's like they know where I actually am, but the music just turns off so it confuses me. I have no ammo for this. I guess I just wait to regen health. Wait a second. Six is bolt, four is grenade. Uh. Like, there's nobody here with me. I'm the only person to fight all of them, apparently. me. Tori. Loaded with slugs. Both of them missed, I think. They're going the other direction. No one's coming back this way now. So then go this way. Back in the building. I missed. Uh, they just did not care about that at all. They, they literally are not responding. Oh, I got them. Uh... Okay. is that? I don't want to use that ammo. Whatever it is. There we go. You're dead. Ow. Ow again. Dead again. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Like, there's literally no one here with me, and there was 13 people to fight. And now I have to fight these five again. Whatever. I guess I have, like, no choice. But to, like, use that or I'm gonna just die because I have no health. But if I get shot once, I lose all of it, so... You know. Like, what's the point of healing? Get 
I guess it's my fault I chose Master, but like Master in the Shadow of Chernobyl was so much easier, I feel like. Okay, I have returned. Now let me... Let me get back to the fun of attempting. Attempting to kill them. <laughs> the music picks up again. that way, I think. I can hear him running. like instantly turn and shoot. Okay. Well, it didn't do anything to me, apparently. Now time for the music to fade again. Oh, 
Okay. Yep, you spotted me. Time to run around the other side again. Ooh, they're actually here this time. Are trees still as overpowered as they were with Shadow of Chernobyl? I think so. Because that just worked. please. Oh, I got a stash information again. Ow. Don't bleed, please. I'm only bleeding slightly. It's not that bad. They, like, come out and then go away. Okay. Still bleeding. Jump on this, please. Can I? Oh, I think I can. If I get it. The right spot. Oh, right here. I see you. Am I hitting? Are they gonna shoot me through the window? I don't think they will. Do they not do headshots or something? Two left. I feel like I should not be doing this mission at all. Like it's too it's too much too early. Save while there's only two left. There we go. gonna say police that was like seven bullets me all this ammo on not being shot at again Solemn. Oh, okay. Seems like they take Master very, uh, very seriously in this game. Oh, now I have to kill two again. Don't let them get in here. Oh, they're in. I think I'm dead. Uh, that was two buckshot shots. Now they're gonna... Ooh, now they're gonna get shot, I guess. Actually got them. Crazy. Please send some people to defend this, or, like, help me capture it, question mark? There. Finally. Is that everyone? 
How do I capture it? Did I win? Save game. Yes. Like, how does it work? I killed everybody. Is it captured now? <laughs> I still don't understand. Uh, did I do it? Hold the point until help arrives. <laughs> Is help ever going to arrive? That's the question. I can hear the shooting. I'm guessing it's these two over here. the point there's like no actual enemies here yet I guess Ooh. money and that reward whoa Hear that? I don't see anyone yet. Three bullets still. Unless I have. Nope, I don't have alternate ammo. No ammo in this. I guess I'm just gonna have to switch to the pistol. I don't want to go too far. Because, like, I don't want it to get captured again. Save game. Yes. Confirm. Didn't want that. None of them had SMG or anything, so. Clear sky. Are they coming this way now? Am I like okay?
I mean... Am I, uh, like, uh, am I waiting in real time for these people to get here? Is that, is that what's just happening now? Oh, this is like watching... Watching like a delivery. Come to your house. Come on. Make your stop and get here, please. Like, what? what is going on? Do we have to, like, go down there and spawn them in? Oh, no, they're moving now. until help arrives. Were they supposed to, like, actually come here and help me in the first place? Because I feel like that's what was supposed to happen, and they were just so far back that that just didn't happen. And I killed everybody alone. There's, like, nothing else... Here to loot? Question mark. Okay. Check everything out, I guess. Well, I have time. <laughs> loading. Far away. They're not even... <laughs> okay, are they coming this way or are they not? Target machine yard. Oh, it's telling me that's where they're going. Well, there's more enemies coming. This machine yard. They're like all going to the machine yard. Where's that? Dark Valley Swamps Swamps The Garbage Garbage Cordon Agrifarm Research Center Garbage Swamps Where is the Where's the machine yard then? Like What? Is this the machine yard? As this is the farm northeast of the swamps. But like, what? Because this doesn't, like, it doesn't tell me what things are. I see enemies coming. This way, right? Yeah, they're coming from this way. It's not even that far away. This is gonna be fun, I guess. Yeah, it started the music. They're out there. Hello friends, I've been waiting.
save game while I can. We've captured the Renegade's lair. All we need to do now is take control of the paths to the swamps. Wait, this is their, like, main... Place? Machine yard. Oh. Okay, well, we're, like, almost on even... Well, yeah, we're, like, on even footing now. Looks like our guys got lost. We gotta check it out and see what's up. Oh, these are... I think that's the same person from, like, Shadow of Chernobyl. By the looks of things, we should be expecting visitors. Yeah, yeah, I see them. They're here. Gonna run out of ammo again. Or, well, I didn't yet, but I will, I think. Yeah, come over here. gonna reach. Switch to slugs. Oh, they're dead. Accuracy. It's better to hit fire, like... Ooh. Good. I feel like they're not all dead, though. Music's still playing. What's up, stalker? You're blue. What's your problem? We're just sitting here taking- Okay, yes, yeah. Taking a break. Where can you lead me to? A couple of places, but keep in mind, I can only lead you to a place if I know a safe path there. And if I... And I charge by distance, tell me, where do you need to go? Oh, okay. Well, I don't need to go anywhere then. Because I don't want to pay you. Save game. Captured. Oh. I just had to wait. I don't even know how long for them to get here, but it's captured nonetheless. Okay, what is the yellow? Yellow is to go go down there again. Where's the, what does the gray lead to? Back to the base, right? I'm gonna take the gray back. Not looking to fight things right now. Oh, looks like I might have to, though. Unless this is just one friend here just hanging out. Looks like it. Hi, friend. What you need, stalker? Uh, how can I help you? I need something. Return item. P M M. Deliver items. Uh. Oh. Okay. Well. Good. I'm not gonna do that right now. Save game in the swamps. Yes. Another 
Another attack repelled. Okay. Ran out of stamina. Okay, this music is like, save game, in the swamp, save, yes, load game, because I think it will stop when I load back. Good. It's getting distracting. So like... Can't really aim with the pistol, but there. Okay, but you can aim with other guns because I don't really want to have a center dot all the time. So would that be dynamic? Like use. What do you want, anyway? Okay, yeah, dynamic, I think. Does it. But I have to hold tab again. Do this. Nope. If I do this. Nope. Okay, so... That doesn't even do that. <laughs> Thanks. Thought maybe it would only enable for guns that uh, don't have aim down sights, but no, that's not what it means, apparently. Uh, can I go through here? It shows like a pathway, I'm gonna say. No, it's all, all like fenced. I see one, but what is that one thing? Can I go this way? To go like all the way around. stamina again. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised there's not more anomalies out here. Because like in Shadow of Chernobyl, if you strayed just a little bit off the path, I felt like there were like, there were anomalies. So, not see one is like, what? How? Can I walk through this? Am I okay? Okay, I'm fine. It just slows me down. Like, is it only out here? Still another fence. I feel like I'm not going the right way at all. No, I'm not. Can I not go this way? Okay, no, I can. Oh wait, no, I can't. There's an invisible wall here. Why? Why is there an invisible wall here? Like, this is literally... Like, that would be the pathway back. Would it not be? Well, I guess not if there's invisible walls. Uh, what? You're just telling me this now. Yep, I'm gonna die. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. Is, oh, 
Okay, it says go this way, though. Like... My game, like, bugged or something? This way. This is a path, yes. Okay, no, I could go this way, right? I was already here. Now I go through here. That should be the path back. Oops. Okay, hi. Bye. Okay, this way. Why is this marked on the map like that if I can't go this way? Unless that's just the... I guess that's the map border? This is all... fence? No, it's not. Yeah, why... Why is this blocked off? Guess I'm just gonna run across here and hope that there's a way around this. And if not, I guess I have to like, <laughs> go all the way back from where I came. Okay, that's what that means. <laughs> okay. Well, now I know. So don't walk in the water, I guess. For cheer. How far does this fence go? What? Defend the camp. Damn you! We don't have to you! I'm coming. I guess. We can't hold on much longer! I Hurry, hear you. Help us. I'm coming. Hi. We Keep on guard! I see one. Okay, run. <laughs> Thanks. So, like, a captured farm, because I literally have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I don't want to do this yet. Like, I don't want to do this yet. So where do I have to go? Across here? Like, yeah. I just want to come back for my reward. Okay. Yep, this is the way I came. I guess I'm gonna just have to take it as far out as I can, so I don't run into a random fence between everything.
and invisible walls that don't let me go back an easier path. I really don't want to say it, but I feel like I already dislike this game more than Shadow of Chernobyl. Like, the animations and stuff being a little bit better, I guess, is, you know, that's, that's whatever, but, like, the actual game is just not, not as straightforward, at least on where to go. Like, the arrow points through the fence I can't go through. I think it's because they don't have this split up to multiple levels like the old game, so... But all that does is make traversing the rest of the world confusing. So... But maybe that's the point. So you can easily get lost, just like if you were in the real zone, but... It really, like, to me it does not make the game more fun at all. Because I'm just wandering aimlessly with nothing to do until I get to somewhere. Hoping I'm going the right way. and spending an unknown amount of time wandering. Guess I'll go down through this way. Not run through any more water, because that gives me radiation. Check the map. It's fine, I can go this way as well. It's not as straightforward, but whatever. I feel like there's less chance I step into the water anyway, because I don't have to go across bridges. Ow. Oh good. Use it. This too, I guess. Well, don't go through that way. Do take the bridges because they prevent you from doing getting uh, damaged by whatever that was. Or I guess radiation burns because it was so high in that area or something. Oh, look! It's the fence again! Am I going the same... No, I'm going the same way I was last time. Right, yeah, like how... How am I supposed to get back then? Like, where am I supposed to go? like I need a walkthrough on this already. Yep, because this fence just goes all the way around and you can't get over it anywhere, apparently, so... Like, I think this path is supposed to be here, but it's not. For whatever reason. Oh, is it... <laughs> I think it's literally, like, blocked off because it's like, Oh, you're, you were blindfolded. You don't know the way back in, so you can't come back in. Oh, uh, that's... If that's the case, that's, like, why... Like, why have you done this? Like, I can, I can clearly see it on my map, like... You know, what... Right here. Like, I can't even go collect the reward I was supposed to collect anyway. Because of that. 
and now I'm just like glitching out. Cool. Yeah, no, this game, I'm already not having fun. Like, why? Like, is there a, a no clip? Because I feel like it wouldn't even be cheating at this point. I can't even get back. clearly shows a pathway here, like, on the map, so why is it not here? Unless it just magically exists when I, uh... What do you want, anyway? Lead me to... Yeah, lead me to the base. Ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. So, like, do I have to? I guess I have to pay them to do it. Right? Unless I didn't use money. No, it didn't. Okay, good. Uh, at least... Again. What? Want to trade? Got something for me? Yeah, you helped us out good, buddy. Here's your reward. Okay. Cool. Oh, I got body armor. <laughs> that should be helpful. Hopefully, so I don't get, like, one shot killed every time I get in a fight, or two shot killed. You got something for me? Sorry, but there ain't nothing to reward you with for yet. Okay, good. Fine. Great. Drop in next time you're in our neck of the woods. PS3A body armor. This body armor was designed for conducting search operations in areas of low anomalous activity. Its high, higher quality materials result in greater durability and includes a container capable of holding one artifact. So what, now I can like, equip artifacts when I put this on, I guess? Well here, take, take this because I have this. 11. Armor condition. So like, five. Oh. What's well, not telling me what that actually means. I'm guessing that's like, percent? Like, reduction? And this is the artifact slot? Well, whatever. I don't care about this. Because I'm going to use this one anyway. At least it tells you the... Um... Stats. Okay, so yes, that does mean... Uh, the protection. Alright. Is that... So it's 11%? I... Yes? Question mark? I mean, it kind of looks like that relative to the bar, so... Here, take my... Take my leather jacket with bullet holes in it. And give me... Yeah, give... Give me your med kits, please. 600. 231. And the bandages. Like, give me... Give me everything for healing. Uh, don't give me the grenades, because I still won't use those very often. I already have three, apparently. Pistol ammo. Shotgun rounds. Hunting rifle. A very common and utterly unremarkable over and under hunting rifle, used mostly by rookies on the outskirts of the zone. Uses 12 by 7 okay, 12 by 70 millimeter ammo. Accuracy, condition, what is this? Okay, it's comparing to my already, my shotgun I have. So like, this is worth 200, but it's worth, wait, what? 
Oh, yeah, it's worth, like, nothing. Actually, so... Whatever. I'll buy it. <laughs> because this one is, like... Yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> Trade. Cool. 24.6 kilograms. What is this? Dart rounds. Dart bullet. Fins add stability, resulting increased accuracy of the massive steel. Body of the bullet can penetrate any body armor used with hunting rifle shotguns and the spaz are the SPSA-14 and Chaser-13 semi-automatic shotguns. Okay, well... I doubt I'm gonna use them, to be honest. Okay... This heavy slow ground is normally used for hunting big game, but is also suitable for other purposes. Instead of piercing, its heavy slug simply crushes through armor used with hunting rifles, shotguns, and the SPSA-14. Yep, okay. Crushes through armor. So the Dart rounds are like, well, they're more like rifle bullets, question mark? It's like, okay, so it does have fins, I guess, but like, so I want dart rounds, but there are none here besides the ones I already have. So, okay. 50, 10. 20. So these are the best rounds I can get, I guess, for shotguns. Okay. I'm gonna retract a little bit of... Like, this isn't fun, but like... It doesn't tell me that, you know, they, they do that. Like, there's... I didn't think they literally meant you could not get back to the base without a guide. But I guess, like, in the context of, oh, well, you're blindfolded, you didn't know that it's this way, but, like, it literally shows on the map. And there's a path on the map that goes through the fences. So, like... And they block off the other side with invisible walls. So you can't just walk through, like... I, I would think you're supposed to, but no, 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 there's an invisible wall on the edge of the, like, it's not even the edge of the map, it's like, in between parts of the map, so it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it belongs there, so, yeah, you have to have a guide, apparently, to get back to the base, even though I can literally see a path that looks like it goes to the base, but it's blocked off by invisible walls that if you want to get technical and, like, the realism argument, that wouldn't exist. That would not prevent me from going to the base. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, new shotgun. And still no ammo for, like, anything else except for the pistol. Yeah, except for the pistol. Oh, wait. Pistol and SMG. Okay, so I do have SMG rounds at least now. Can't pull out my gun here to like reload it, but yeah. So there's no other missions for me here except for like go... Go to the base or whatever that they have. And I just dropped in for a second. I should be getting on my way. Okay, there's literally nothing. And you just have, like, stash knowledge I could care less about? Question mark? Uh, whatever. What can you offer me? How much is going to set me back? It's gonna set me back... Uh... hundred? Find the stiff at these coordinates. His backpack holds what you do. hundred. 
Agreed. That's more than, or that's less than uh, what you were going to charge me before, so I'll do it. Like, why not? I don't think it really matters, though, because I still have to, like, find it my own path there. So I need a guy to get out of here again. What can you offer me? You get quite a bit more than what you paid. Your reward is inside a backpack that- okay. What's is gonna set me back? 800? No, not interested. Well, next time you're at the swamps, don't be a stranger. Okay. No bakers have ever been identified in the zone, but the spread is not contaminated and is actually quite edible. At least no complaints have been reported thus far. Oh, here we go. Take my... Yep, take these because they're still... Ooh, actually... Tourist Delight weighs less than this. So... Actually, just take my sausage. I'll take. I'll keep the tourist delight. It doesn't weigh as much anymore. The diet sausage still weighs <laughs> just as much, though. And I'll actually like eat these, I guess. Everything else, though, good on. You know, I'll just keep one, because I don't expect to be walking through radiation very much. Uh, but then again, there's just the random points in the swamp that I can just step in and not even know. So, yeah. Just give me all the bread. 700 rubles. I'm going to be down to like 4,100 now. Uh, that would trade. Cool! Uh, we've... What you need, stalker? A new face around here. Where can you lead me to? Come on. Charge by the distance, but like, do you actually charge anything real? It's over here. I see a marker. Oh, hello. I'll be there in a moment. What's up? Hey, how's it going, Mr. Fixit? See for yourself. There's hardly any equipment. It's like life after a nuclear war. If we do get a hold of something, it's about to fail anyway, and there ain't shit around to use for spare parts. That's why I'm having to adapt whatever I find and use it as best I can. Only last week I needed to make a radio receiver. What do you think I use for parts? That's right, a goddamn fridge! <laughs> I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. Heh, <laughs> this ain't no walk in the park. Yeah, there ain't much to get excited about around here. Not like the garbage. I heard they dug up old Soviet caches. After the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, they sent convoys there with contaminated vehicles and equipment and all sorts of other crap. They thought it was all waste because it was radioactive. That was then. Nowadays, nobody would even call that radiation. So there's a real gold rush going on there. Stalkers are flocking over there from all over the zone to dig for loot. It's a pity not much of it filters through down here, unless Lebedev sends the boys to pick up specific components. Know how are things going for you personally? Nothing special. I repair and upgrade weapons and suits. Basically, I do whatever needs getting done. If you need something fixed, I'm your man. Yeah, if I could get a few spare parts, I would make the guy some real nice toys. Weapons, armor, equipment, I'd take them all to a whole new level. Remember, if you bump into something useful, bring it here, and I'll do it all real nice. That's a promise. Got any work for me? Find the upgrade, find the upgrade, find the upgrade. <laughs> okay. I'll bring you whatever I find. Okay, see ya. Well, good luck. 
I repair faults in hardware, not in its owner's arms. Oh, I can't just... I, I want to jump back there so badly and steal the gun. Wait, I have it? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay, I just need to bring the information. I found the information about the upgrades you were looking for. Item loss, flash drive with data of submachine gun barrel modification. Flash drive with data on super light Kevlar body armor. This would help, now I can perform new upgrades. Remember, to be a good shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. Oh wait, you can... What is... Oh, okay. Bolt mechanism, rate of fire, accuracy. So this... See, this is actually cool. I like. I feel like this is actually pretty cool. You can actually do upgrades to guns and stuff. Like, make them not just like you can't only find special variants. Like, you could only like that's the only way you could get upgraded guns in Shadow of Chernobyl. But in this, you actually can like upgrade guns. So that's that's cool. 918 millimeter caliber. This barrel is replaced, and gun parts are adjusted to the new caliber. This replacement can only be performed once. So you'll switch it to pistol bullets. The then I would just have two. I would just get two different vipers then at that point. Yeah, because this. Yeah, this use this gets used with this, so I don't want to do that yet. Extended mag, operating rod modification, recoil minus thirty percent RPM load, so rounds per minute. It would go down, but like that's actually fine. I would pr probably prefer that. Okay, first repair it. Okay, because I. Where did I get the money from? Oh, because I brought the things. That's right. Okay. Flatness. An attachment which lengthens lengthens the barrel, increasing muzzle velocity. Oh, like it'll it'll fly for longer is what they mean by flatness. Like it'll it won't drop as hard. That would be nice, I guess. Handling. Accuracy. That's just straight up 40% more accuracy. Ooh. Installing a muzzle brake allows recoil to be reduced significantly. Am I gonna just like... I guess I'm just gonna upgrade the Viper 5. Handling 10. Flatness 50. Wait, what? That means I can just have full? Oh no, wait. Because these are both... Ah... I see. Okay, and then this would go after. But you can't do both. So it can't just be OP like that. Um... Oh... Oh, okay. So, like, they go together. Oh, wait. This goes with this. Oh, I have to ha Or maybe I just have to get one previous upgrade to get the next one, is what it's saying. Like, I can get this and that, so then it just, like, flies straight all the time, I guess. So then what do I want to... I can do like majority of the upgrading on this rate of fire so that's gonna make it go up but I don't know if I really care about it going up but I could just do recoil yeah down regularly um, I don't know, there's so many choices. 
Lightweight, so is that actually gonna make the gun lighter for real? That that would be sick too. It doesn't say minus weight though. That'd be nice if it was, but maybe it isn't that lightweight. <laughs> no, it would no, it would have to like it it would have to lower the carry weight, but maybe they don't. Maybe that doesn't actually. Let me check if any of these are like that. No, they're not. Okay. Well, then I'll do... I'll do... This? Handling flatness. I really don't know what's actually worth it. So exit. Uh... Is your name literally okay? Gray. Come to me for help. Oh, those are actual like things. Need something upgraded or repaired? Oh, I wish you I could get those. To patch the whole zone up if need be. Well, save game. What is it? Remember? Okay, it's spelled that way. Save game. Gray. Gray's workshop. Because I don't want to spend money on something. Shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. Get the gun talking. Good luck. Here, this. Now this should be in yeah, perfect condition. How is the rate of fire? Is that saying compared to this? It is. What? How is the rate of fire faster? Oh, because it's just, you know, shot after shot, I guess. But then, like, reload time is technically going to not be letting that actually be true. So, wait, can I do... I can do this, too. Doesn't use shot. What? Threading the barrel increases the weapon's effective range when firing slugs and darts, makes the weapon unsuitable for firing shot. Oh, okay. Places the standard barrel with a lightweight version. So this, there is actually weight reducing things. A standard rubber cheek pad for adjusting stock length to the shooter's height, recoil minus 30. I feel like recoil is not going to matter. Striker replacement increases the weapon's reliability and reduces the chance of misfiring. Ooh. See, but I haven't even used this yet, so I don't even know. Oh, it's cheaper though than all the Viper upgrades. Yeah, everything is more expensive for the Viper. Ooh, that. That price. Oh boy. So how much? This is recoil minus 30. But there's already... Okay, there, there's a recoil minus 20. So I don't know... If I get it accurate enough while firing fast enough, it will still be good, I feel like. So like, what is handling? Replaces the standard, yeah, it says that, but it doesn't tell me what the actual, like, what does handling do? <laughs> I, mean, I get everything else, but. Like, is it re? Coil control, but then there's minus recoil. Maybe it's like weapon sway. I don't know. Let's do it. Wait. Oh, does that mean other upgrades required to 
Oh, I have to do all these other ones to do it. Not that weapon. Why? What's wrong with this weapon? Come on, Lud. What's up? Careful adjustment of the bolt. <laughs> like, I need to do all these? Or I need one or the other? Accuracy. It's a bolt. It will tase you. Real. Okay. Wait. Why can't I... Oh, I can only do specific ones. So handling and accuracy. Rate of fire, I guess I don't like it. I didn't really care about rate of fire in the first place, so... Whatever, that's fine. Well, has already been upgraded, okay. Has already been upgraded, so... What is this telling me? I don't know what this is actually saying. There are upgrades required to install this, but I already did those. Yes, it's already been upgraded. So, like, what? Rog. <laughs> yeah. Recoil minus... minus... 20%, okay. Which means I can't do this one, I guess. I'm so confused. I don't care about extended mag, I'm not gonna do that. So accuracy and handling. One up. There's no plus damage here. So... Rate of fire. Yeah, I didn't want to do rate of fire because I don't... I don't need rate of fire, I'm good. It's fast enough. It doesn't use shot, I don't want to do that one. Wait. Remove, yes. Cheek pad. Recoil, I feel like recoil is not going to be an issue. Because I'm going to shoot one shot, stop, and probably fire another. Reliability. There. Ooh, this has... This has multiple things. I don't have bullets for this, though. And I don't know when I'm going to have bullets for this, either. Recoil. RPM lowered. Under barrel mount. Flatness. Polymer stock. Pneumatic stock. Used considerably. So this is handling in this recoil. Extended mag. Scope mount. 55645. Five, five. What is this? This uses 45 or 54539. Five, this would be 545. Five. We'll put the optical scope mount on because then I can use a scope with it, at least, when I get one. Don't really know about upgrading any of this yet. But yeah. Okay, enough of the, like, shock noise in my ear. Now I'll get to the... Will I get to that? I guess not. Alright. What you need, stalker? Where can you lead me to? Get me to... Yeah, bring me to the machine yard. What is the machine yard? I don't know what that is. Ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. So, like, did I... Do I actually pay you for that, or what? Sorry. No. You say that, that I have to pay for traveling, but I don't, actually, so... Okay. Wait, I don't have ammo for this? Okay, I was gonna say, I do. 
Yeah, there we go. It's nighttime. Well, now I have armor and guns and healing, so hypothetically, I think I should be ready to fight things now. light. So I can actually see. A little bit at least. Uh, I don't really... I don't really know about night fighting, but I guess I'm gonna do it. The swamps are now under our control. Good job, boys. You did it. All squads, dig in at key positions and wait for further instructions. Okay. I thought that was the enemies. Capture the approaches to the paths to the outside world. Go to Cordon with with the guide. Oh, so I need to go for the guide. So wait, do we we did this? Oh, we did do this. So I have to go down there. Or they did anyway. Statistics. Blue sky friends. Renegades enemies. Oh no, I'm so uh, so so upset about that. Uh let me see. We have achieved superiority. Okay. Uh, I guess. water. Don't want to step in that. Um, okay, this is a hill. Yeah, that looks like a fun place to be. Oh. Hey. I'm supposed to be able to loot you. Why can't I? There we go. Slug rounds. Let me put those in, I guess. So I can shoot at things. Lots of water there, too. I don't want to walk into that. Or actually, let me change to regular. No, not these. There we go. See light. It's friends. Okay, good. Hello, friends. I need a guide. I don't want to pull out grenades right now. Oh, is this the... Oh, is this... This is like the stalker camp. Oh, rest in peace. Thanks for killing them. Now I get all this stuff. Another AK. Oh, rest in peace, friend. Hey. What a loot. Four of twelve. Condition. This is in, like almost pristine. This is like partially broken. So like, accuracy, damage, it's a little bit up. Yeah, I think this is actually better. Rate of fire is better on that. Handling is all the way up. Accuracy. Is it actually showing me stats? for, like, comparison to this? I can't tell. This just has better accuracy. But it's, like, broken, so I don't want to take it. Ooh. Ammo. Okay. 
this is not a stash. Type in swamp. It's gonna loot all the dead bodies. Thanks, friends, for killing all of them. And not take their stuff, apparently. Oh, rest in peace, pal. that. I think that was for the Viper. Okay, this works for, yeah, it was more FMJ ammo. At least they don't, like, tell me to lower my weapon when I have it out. Like, every time I pull it out, like in uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, like they did. Um, Nothing down here. I guess not. Or wait, no, we're what's going. Up, we're going to Cordon. That's what's happening. What you need, Stalker? To cor to the Cordon. Yeah, man. My props to you for helping out our boys. I even forgot what it feels like to walk the swamps in safety, or at least as safely as. Marshes on the fringes of the zone would allow. Anyway, let's get back to business, shall we go? Uh, yep. We can do away with blindfolds this time. If you step into some quicksand, dying is ever so much more fun with your eyes open. I'm just kidding. Keep your eyes peeled and remember the way across the swamps. Next time, you'll have to make it on your own. Good. Thank you. I won't be blocked off this time. The game just like, oh, because it auto saved, that's why. I was gonna say it just like closed and opened again. I haven't seen anyone come from the swamps in a long while. You've come out right next to the army outpost. There's only one thing a stalker can expect from the army, and that's a bullet. So I'd be careful if I were you. <laughs> Uh, no. Jeez, okay. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, well, I see why they have you autosave. Turn off the lights, then. I haven't seen anyone come from the swamps in a long while. You've come out right next to the army outpost. There's only one thing a stalker can expect from the army, and that's a bullet. So I'd be careful if I were you. No? Please? I, I'm guessing I can't go this way. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, though. Do I have to stay behind the trees? I haven't seen anyone come from the swamps in a long while. You've come out right next to the army outpost. There's only one thing a stalker can expect from the army, and that's a bullet. So I'd be careful if I were you. Okay. <laughs> then go back, I guess. Like, there's nothing for me to do here, because I'll just get shot. So... I don't have a scope. 
it's not like I can really, uh, kill them. I'm not a member of any faction. What? Why the upgrade? Why the upgrade? So... So how do I... Did I already do it? I guess? Do I have to go back? Oh! Uh, well, I guess. They're like... Okay, so they like... They, they make me flat as fast travel. Uh, lead me to... Oh, now it costs money. Now it costs money. Okay. It didn't before, but now it does. Well, how far away is that? Back this way. Not that bad. I guess. I mean, I walked all this way, so... Whatever. There's stashes here to get. friend. What do you want, anyway? What's pro- okay, yeah, yeah. Tell me about this place. We came here to escape unwanted attention. Why? There were reasons. Lebedev or Beanpolev will tell you. They feel like it. Here we are hidden even from visitors to the swamps. If you want to get to the base, don't go alone. Find a guide. Much safer that way. Okay. You doing here? My instruments registered a very high concentration of energy, which means a great chance of artifacts or anomalies springing up here. I look. I took the measurements and sent them to Beanpolev. Now I'm waiting for further orders. Okay. See you later. Come in. First, you put that gun away. Okay. I did. They actually care about that here, I guess. I'm guessing the cache is up here. Then to get there's this. Okay. Ammo. I guess not over here. Um, do I do, uh, one of these? Oh, I do. Okay. Whew. At least I didn't fall. I think this is the church? The delay on things like loading in. Save game. Church. <laughs> Fine, it doesn't matter. It'll save lowercase anyway. Nothing in that? I guess not. Ow.
whatever, I'll heal. My armor didn't take damage, so I don't care. Nothing in those, I guess. Okay, this is breakable. Oh no! My friend has died. I will take all their loot. Guessing there's gonna be a little bit less inventory management because some things just do not weigh as much as they used to. Or well, as much as they do in Shadow of Chernobyl. I don't know what that was, but I'm not gonna bother looking back. Now I will. Am I still bleeding? I am. Those aren't enemies, right? No. Good. Can I, like, stop dying, please? Do I need to use bandages? I guess I do. I have 16, though, so it's fine. I'll regen my health now. drink. Ooh! I'll take this. I'll take those for sure. Like, oh, yeah, I'll take all this. You interrupted. What the heck? Oh, they're still playing. Oh, their mouth still plays the music. Beautiful. Oh, they stopped playing now. So wait, can I get to the base now, without a guide? I hope so. Come on, no, I can't. Cool. So I'm really- am I gonna have to pay every single time I wanna go back to the base? Or can I just talk to this guy and go back for free? I hope it's free. I hope it doesn't cost anything. Why are you running? What's so, what is it that you need? I need a guide, apparently, to go back to the base that... Okay, yeah. Ready to leave? Let's go. So it's free to go back to the base, at least. I need I'll be to there in a moment. Bring me this. See for Come yourself. On. Yeah, nothing speak. You get any what's up? What's up? I thought I had the thing. I guess I don't. You get anything else to fix? Come to me for help. Okay. Well, I don't. So. But it, like it's blinking. What? What's I'll up? be there in a moment. Remember. To be a good shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. I repair faults in hardware, not in its owner's arms. Let me... Guess I'll just look around the base now. 
check if there's anything to get from doing it. I'm guessing there... Well, I am I think there could be. There's a chance, I feel, that there's something here. Welcome back from the afterworld. What's new, bro? Can you offer me... Oh. Hornets of a case with some loot. Interesting. Trade. Anytime you feel like jetting. Just gonna buy a bunch of bread again. Spend all my money on it. There. This food also heals, so. At least a little bit. I'm oh, glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. People. I've seen all types of folks in the zone. Some come here chasing their dreams, some in search of the zone's wonders, and some are just looking for loot. Why does clear skies study the zone? People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil. Others, a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be, or indeed are, completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. So what is the zone? Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the Zone. Coexistence. Why is the Zone having the shakes? Know anything about that? How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the Zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The Zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now, now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one, so much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. I wish I knew whose it was. How oh, it is. And that's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent a disaster. Is it really within man's power? Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. And what way exactly? What is the point of the rescue plan? I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev. Lebedev? Oh, that's how you say that. What happened to me? You already have a basic understanding of some things, while others will necessitate a more detailed explanation. The inexplicable fact is that twice you were affected by emissions and survived. Clearly, you were not subjected to the peak of these emissions because you most certainly would have been killed. However, it does appear that you are able to survive emission levels that are lethal in others. That is the general outline of what took place. Yeah, I ain't feeling too good. It's true some of your abilities, such as motor skills, reaction and endurance, improve rapidly after the emission. It seems that the emission supplied your body with energy. Conversely, this brief period of strength is followed by a sharp decline in your well-being, the effects of which you are currently experiencing. Finally, I'm going to tell you something you already know. The emissions are destroying your nervous system. If they keep reoccurring, you will die, or what's worse, lose your intelligence and your very self. 
Can you stop the destruction of my nervous system? Regrettably, no. The best I can do for you is to reduce the negative impact of emissions on your body. I am currently concluding a series of tests, and after Lebedev confirms the results, I will be in a position to carry out the necessary procedures. However, I would like to stress once again the fact that this is not a panacea. It will not solve the problem. All you are getting now is a little more time until the point when your nervous system begins to break down. Can you do anything else for me? Alas, that is all. The only other thing I can do for you is answer any questions you may have. Alrighty. Bye. Okay. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look... Okay. Oh, I, I, I didn't notice you coming. I, I didn't. I, I was leaving. Start talking, buddy. Okay, so there's nothing... There's nothing more here for me to, like... Do except for get the one... Uh, part or whatever. For gray, but... You're just the traitor. I'll be right there. Um, do you have ammo for my other guns now? Good luck to you. No, you don't. But you have a med kit, so I'll trade for that. I'll take that. I kind of want to do that other mission in the daylight anyway. So like, th this is what I can do. I can just go look for other things, but I don't think there really is much else for me to do. And going back to the military is just gonna like, get me killed, so... Uh, I think I might, I might end this one early because... Oh boy! My brain... My head does not feel good, so... Yeah. It's a, he's waving goodbye! Alright, I guess he would be waving to get your attention, but you know. But yeah. I think. I think. Full attention. Well, speaking of. What's with this stalling, huh? Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it early. Okay. Yeah. Save game. Uh. Clear. Sky. Camp. Save. Let him finish his story. Зашли, поделись по лестнице. Бывалый говорит: "Стоп, ломай эту дверь". Новичок с разбегу выносит дверь. Бывалый, давай в кухню. Ломай вытяжку. Новичок, значит, пытается отодрать решетку от стены. Пыхтит и спрашивает так с уважением: "Слышь, а чё хоть за артефакт такой, что сам не смог унести?" А бывало ему: "Какой нахрен артефакт? Я до аварии в этой квартире жил, а вентиляции водку от жены прятал. Давай ломай быстрее". Поновее ничего нет. Very good. Okay. Had to save the story, okay. But yeah. That, that's gonna conclude that for now. Three hours. Three hours. Is what it is. But anyway. I'm pro I'm, I'm going to come back to this game. I think I'm going to come back to this game. And I will... I, I think I'll finish it. As long as... Like, if I can figure out how to get past the military to where I'm supposed to go, then yes. But, like, for right now, I don't know how I'm going to do that. So, anyway. I go now. Go goodbye.